are live. Hey everybody, welcome to the Atlee 22 Gaming slash General Podcast. Don't really have a title for this thing yet because it's our first, very first episode. With me today is Justin. Yo, I'm the only heterosexual member here and I also know how to use a toothbrush and a razor blade. And Brandon. <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> I'm sorry, should I, here, let me mute myself like this is, uh, pardon the interruption. No, what's that show on ESPN? I where can't they remember have... that show. It's on ESPN! Oh, could it have something to do with football? Football! Let's take a 10 second commercial for Pantene and station identification. <laughs> station identification? Is that a mute song? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. So, in this podcast, we're just going to generally discuss maybe some news, mostly gaming stuff, and then maybe some sports stuff. We have everybody with our own little ideas. And then at the very end, close to maybe about an hour left of the podcast, I'm hoping two hours for this, at least, we're all going to have our own games to review. And hopefully you guys will enjoy them. So, we're going to start it it's called. Hey, never mind. Just let's do this. Let's I'll jump go, right in. I'll go for it. Seriously. Oh, no. What, what comment were you going to make? Bullshit. Really? Okay. He was about to go into a super massive black hole. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Just because he makes Muse reference. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alright, so should I, should, I, should I put my segment or are we jumping right into the nudist? We're going the for nudist? The, we're going for the nudist. Go for it. Okay. No stripping, please. <laughs> Who else has got the thing? Let's, let's, let's get this fucking show rolling. Okay, so to start things off, there's been a little bit of news that has been I've seen recently that has been on my mind for the longest time, and it has made me so angry very recently. Um, not too long ago, everybody knows what the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge is by now, correct? Okay. Recently, it's like uh, in Cleveland, Ohio, I've read a news report, and it was like maybe a couple weeks ago, there was a fake ice bucket challenge. Now, what happened in this challenge was these gang of kids got this one autistic 15-year-old to do an ice bucket challenge. They challenged him to it. He didn't know what he was in for. He thought, oh, I guess it's you know, all in clean fun. But, to our surprise, when we saw the video, I personally got to see the video. I didn't see, like, you know, the person's face or anything, but the actual footage that was on the news. The bucket was dumped. Now, it didn't look like ice water to me. What was in it was urine, feces, human spit, cigarette butts. So pretty much the American dream at this point. I guess you could say that. And it drives me nuts that something like this happened. It really does. That's that's a crime. I'm serious. I, I don't know what you guys think, but I believe it's a crime. It's a little bit more than a crime. It's kind of a, you know, fucked up thing to do. Human degradation. Not even that, like, it's, it's coming down to, like, pseudo-speciation. It's not even just degrading. It's like, these people treat this poor autistic kid like fucking... I wouldn't do this to a, a statue, and they did it to a living person. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's one of those things, and uh, I believe that this is part of bullying. Now, bullying is a you know, it's a fucked up thing. It really is. And it affects a lot of people. It affected me when I was uh, younger in middle school and in high school. It really did. It affected a lot of people too. But, you know, sometimes bullying goes too far. And I believe that it did. This might have been an act, you know, these guys were probably thinking, oh, it's just another little prank or something. You know, we're going to bully this kid or something. It's just, no. Yeah, you want to it is a prank is when I put a water balloon like above someone's door and it hits them and they're like, oh, 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 these guys are like, well, let's make this dude as miserable as possible for like 15 seconds so we won't even understand what's going on. 
Like that that would be like if I walked up to someone with a chainsaw and like shoved it into their rib cage. They're like, what are you doing? I'm like, it's a prank, April Fool's Day. <laughs> So where'd you say this happened, Jeff? In Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, glad to know the Cleveland Browns are maintaining the epitome of standards since when has that ever happened? Pretty much, pretty much. That joke is hours. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Next, next segment, Brandon runs with scissors and somehow chops half his hair off by accident. <laughs> next segment, no. <laughs> Next segment, we feature Weird Al Yankovic's album, Running With Scissors. Okay, so the, the thing is, uh, also, there's also another part of that uh, article that I read that was very interesting. Drew Carey, I don't know if any, anybody knows this, or anybody in the Twitch chat room that knows this, or knows the guy. I don't care like who the fuck Drew Carey is. I know, know. They, would be too young, they would be too young for us if they didn't know who that guy was. Anyway, he has actually gave a $10,000 reward for any information about these guys that did this to this poor autistic guy. Poor autistic guy. I, I'm like, wow. That's a lot of money for him. It really is. It is very surprising yeah, uh, he wants to help that out. Yeah, Drew Carey, uh, I'm sorry, if you offered uh, me ten grand to do anything, I'm pretty sure I'd do it. Probably. Now introducing Drew Carey starring Brandon. And whose chainsaw is this anyway? I'd watch it. Ten out of ten. I would definitely watch it. Indiscriminate killing. Awesome. Indiscriminate. That's the <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. So next segment, Justin. Do you have any sports news that you'd like to report? <clears throat> well, two things. On a random note that nobody probably cares about, Devin Hester just about an hour ago broke the record for the all-time. Punt return touchdowns that was previously held by Dion Showtime Sanders. Showtime. Hey, I got yeah. that. I got that on my TV, but apparently it doesn't work because I don't have the channels. It just shows up there as Showtime. Okay. Well, someone doesn't get porn. Anyway. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, the Pittsburgh Steelers are about to butt fuck Brandon. Apparently. Oh, the Pittsburgh Steelers! Everyone jump on the Pittsburgh Steelers train. Fucking, oh look, I like the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I have never even been to Pittsburgh. I can't even point Pittsburgh out on a fucking globe. On a fucking map. Or on a fucking atlas. If I bought a fucking atlas for Pittsburgh, I wouldn't know where Pittsburgh was. No one cares about Pittsburgh! <laughs> nice. Alright, anything else to report? Uh... Well, some and now now we can loosely relate this uh, to bullying. However, it depends on the perspective of people. Most people know who Adrian Peterson is. He's a running back for the Minnesota Vikings. I I would love to see how many people can point out Minnesota on a globe. I know Minnesota. That that's very nice. Put your it, hand. It's, down. it's a it's very straight. small. I heard it's a very small Coca Cola. Very small what? <laughs> I was I was commenting on Minnesota. <laughs> You're fired. Get out. Get out. All right, all right. Stop in the stream. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Bad, bad jokes. It ends. I'm, I'm kidding. Fired. Go. That joke was so bad the Canadian border kept you out. Oh. Hey, interesting fact. Did you know if you've ever had a DUI? Shut up. Did you know if you've ever had a DUI on your record you could not in Canada? Uh, well, I guess that that would mean he needs a mini beer. Uh, what? what? Hmm. <laughs> anyway, back to back to what the relevant topic. Anyway, Adrian Peterson has uh, currently been indicted on a negligence and abuse charges on his four-year-old son for apparently spanking him with a switch. However, there are two problems I have with this. Number one, that there is apparently evidence that the ch four-year-old child, four-year-old boy, okay, had had blood marks and bruises on back of his legs, his buttocks, a little bit of his sides. Here's the fucked up one: his scrotum. Hmm. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. Hold up, hold up. I don't know about you, but I never spread my legs for an ass whooping. No. Okay. Number two. 
What? Go. Go on. I was trying to figure out where your foot was. He, he crossed <laughs> his foot. Anyway, second thing, he says he lost count. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Lost if, count of what? Uh, the number of times he spanked him with a switch. Oh. Oh. I don't, I don't know, but if you lose count and your four-year-old kid has has bloody marks on his scrotum and he's four, th there may be some may be some issues with uh, corporal punishment there. Now, I'm also beating the fuck with four-year-old boys, but, you know, like, there's a point where you take it too far. Now, like, uh, there, there's discipline and then there's abuse. Uh, of course. This is really in the you go to jail category. Yeah, because uh, when I know when I was younger and I got disciplined, we had sixteen fucking viewers. Wow! For a first episode of podcast, all right, awesome. Sorry, off subject, but thanks guys for coming out and hanging out. Anyway, but uh, my point is there is a difference between discipline and abuse. Now I know now, when I was younger. Go for it, man. If, if I was going to discipline my four-year-old, I would do a pile driver off the second story of my house. But... <laughs> Right, that's how I teach my kids. You don't have a second story. You have a first and a third. You look out the window. Hold on. All right, so I know I wasn't going to look at uh, chat very often, but I do have it open. Now, this is a very good point. Uh, Rubble Mike just said, as long as they aren't autistic boys, question mark. Now, would that be a difference? Being an autistic boy? Yeah, first of all, because autistic people wouldn't know what they did wrong. Exactly. Well... Well, there is, now corporal punishment. I don't believe should be used on, on a child with autism simply because I believe they may have a harder time associating uh, the, the cause and effect of certain things. There are certain things that you kind of have to ease them in and help them understand further what they've been doing wrong, especially if they're four. Now, when you get up to about nine, ten years old, th then those associations should be there, and they should be able to be be disciplined as a normal child. But again. There, there should not be blood involved. Bruises, fine, whatever. Uh, everyone knows what a belt is, an ass whooping, etc. Yeah. But it, it firmly, yeah. it firmly is relegated to the buttocks for one, not up and down the entire leg, as there was pictures of this boy shown that the, the entirety of his leg had various slash marks from the switch. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was obviously excessive. Yeah, which is not a good thing at all. Not to m mention very overly widely ranged. Am I the only one whose like parents were completely abusive and he turned out fine? Like seriously. That is a debatable point. That is very debatable. Yes. <laughs> Do I walk through? That's a bad example. Do I walk through a Saturday morning fucking Walmart with a flamethrower? The answer is yes, but it's not because of a lack of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, like like I said, it's a pers It's a debate about like different things. You know, you say you might be abused by your parents, yet. You are turned out fine. If you weren't abused yes. by your parents and you turned out fine, that's debatable. Like I said, it's all different. True. Yeah, about this whole bruise thing, I got into fights that didn't leave bruises on me. All right, if you leave marks on your kid, you're being a dick. Yeah, and, of course. Uh, I can imagine, this is not someone your size. This is a four-year-old flesh and blood little thing. And not to mention, this is an NFL athlete who plays running back, which requires a lot, a, a very low muscle-to-fat ratio. I mean, th this man is in impeccable shape and, and is capable of impeccable power from his shoulders, yeah. his arms, his legs, whatever the case. Yeah. Hang on, that's a bitchy can cookie because he made his stupid fucking username white. His username is white. Don't, on don't worry fat. about it. Dude, don't worry I about it. I don't even have Twitch open. Yeah. I'm, le he's, I'm leaving he's, it to Jeff to tell me what comments are, and we go off the conversations as well, in his discretion. Now, there you go. Now, that's <laughs> fine. I have it open just so I can give shout-outs to anybody or, you know, talk to anybody that has, like, you know, specific, maybe uh, good, legitimate comments during exactly, uh, like just discussions. Now. Like, exactly. Uh, Rumble Mike, his his comment was legit enough for me to actually say yeah. to you. Guys. I got something to bitch about really quick. Chiller Duck says, Danny knows the food tonight. Imagine, imagine, Jeff. Imagine this, right? Imagine someone spending the night at your house, okay? And I walk up to you in your house, and I knock on the door, and you open the door, and I push you aside, walk in your house, and ask the dude in your house, hey, dude, let's go hang out at my house. Is that cool? 
No, no, it's not 